vest. I can only imagine if it was 100 pounds, but it makes me want to do some, some movements and training. <laughs> Out of the two brothers, I'm, I'm just sympathetic with. Um, and it was me sitting right, right there on the oh, eighth and ninth line. It was me telling Mark Green to throw in his house. Um, yeah. You live to fight another day. To quote the great um, uh, Witherspoon. <laughs> you live to fight another day. Um, he was taking too much punishment. There was nothing he could do. If you look down in the crowd, you can see one of the Charlos trying to wave it off, telling us, talking about stopping it. You, you just got to look closely at the fight. You can see someone veer off on the other side of the ring, talking about waving the fight off. And I, meanwhile, I was in the corner of the last two rounds, telling Mark Breeden to throw in the towel. And I believe, I do believe I had some, I had some influence in him doing so. Um, but if you look at all the reasons, or the main reason, Deontay Wilder got into boxing at, what, 21, 22 years old, is was because of it, to be able to take care of his daughter, you know. Um, can he do that now? Absolutely. He can retire and live a great life and take care of his daughter and whoever else he needs to take care of. Um, um, but if he wants to come back stronger, we have to give him the opportunity to do that as well. You don't want to take too much of uh, or unnecessary punishment if you don't have to. Only reason I say this is because of this. Probably one of three or four reasons. Uh, Deontay had no legs. He told us all. His main excuse was the suit was too heavy. Um, you can be doing squats and you can get in the ring and spar. You can you can do all kinds of work. You can get in the ring and work all day. You can do round after round after round. You know, but if you let your psyche play a game on you and tell you that a suit was too heavy, then that's just what it is. I do believe the suit was too heavy. I really do. I do believe he believed that affected him. You know, so that's the reason to say, okay, let's throw in the towel, man. We're going to get him next time. Those are the words of Andre Durrell as he admits like, hey, yes, I told Mark to throw in the towel. I seen he didn't have legs. I seen he wasn't fit. I see I know you live. You live to fight another day. John Witherspoon, God bless the dead. He referenced that, but he knew that, or he felt rather, that he was an influence on Mark Breland to throw in the towel. Now, I heard Tay Jones tell me that. He told me that. We had conversations about that. And that was one of the things he said. He said Andre Durrell, or one of the Durrells, was like, hey, man, hey, Mark, throw in the towel. Okay. But I want people to understand Andre Durrell, Durrell being from Kronk's Gym or being from uh, Detroit or whatever in that region didn't have anything to do with the fact that it was a sabotage and because those guys were in the same thing or in the same place or in the same gym, he they sabotaged Deontay Wilder by stopping the fight prematurely. That wasn't a premature stoppage. He had already been dropped twice, okay? He was bleeding from the, the, the ear. He was bleeding from the nose. He was bleeding from the mouth. He was bleeding. He, he, was, he wouldn't... He didn't have his legs on from under him. He was just fighting when he didn't really have a leg to stand on. And his legs were literally gone, regardless of what it was, regardless of if it was the costume or whatever. But Andre Durrell, he's like, he told us all it was the costume. So at the end of the day, that's what he said. And if he believed, like Andre, Andre, Andre Durrell said, if he believed that it was the costume, well, therefore it was the costume. It's a psychic thing. It's one of them things you think, well, this is what I believe. It's, a, it's to me, it's no different from a person on the other side of the uh, uh, of taking steroids. But you, a lot of people take steroids because mentally they believe they're going to help. Not saying they're going to be like the super fast person just because you take a couple supplements or illegal supplements or whatever drugs, whatever. But at the end of the day, you think that they help you. Just like a lot of people go into football and stuff like that and they juice because they believe that that's going to help them. And the reality of it, they might or may not even have to do that to believe that. But the thing is, they believe that belief is one hell of a thing, people. I'm trying to tell you, it's what you believe. It's the way you think. OK. Now, Andre said he admitted like, yeah, I last two rounds, which was five, well, six and seven. 
he was saying, uh, well, hey, I told him to throw in the towel. But there was more to it than that. He also said, you seen the Charlos over there. Hey, man, wave this off. You seen someone else say, hey, man, wave this, wave this fight off. You know, so he wasn't the only one that felt that same way that Deontay Wilder had had enough. And as he referenced John Witherspoon, you live to fight another day. Like he said, he can do that. And I like how he added like, yo, he got into boxing to take care of his family. OK, yeah, his daughter had spinal bifida and stuff like that, but he had six other kids or eight other kids or whatever. So he did that to take care of his family overall, and he's able to do that. That may or may not happen if nobody threw in a towel and everybody was just trying to, you know, be uh, prideful and thinking that he was going to somehow pull it together because he always did. And the signs of everybody, uh, the signs were not showing the same thing. He was going to lose and he was going to lose bad. And someone like Andre Durrell is a guy that's like, yeah, I think I had influence in it. But at the end of the day, it was up to Mark to throw in the towel or not, regardless of who influenced it. You know what I'm saying? If anybody influenced it was JD's because he Mark had already told JD's, hey, we need to stop this shit. Deontay Wilder will not win this fight. And there's no sense of no sense of a man taking unnecessary punishment for no reason. It wouldn't have mattered at all because he still was going to lose. And it's, the only thing is the difference is how he lost. Did he lose like he lost? He was able to talk and speak without falling into a coma, like somebody like uh, like um, Stevenson, Adonis Stevenson did, or Zab Judah, or worse, uh, Patrick Day. See, people need to understand what you're dealing with. This is real life. Andre Durrell saying, hey, I'm, I'll say it again. I'll say this again. I'll do it again. I don't care if Deontay Wilder hears me or talks to me or whatever, because he lives to fight another day. I was sympathetic. He didn't need that type of beating. And they stopped it. And I'm glad Mark stopped it. And I always will say that. That's stupid. He probably wouldn't be sitting here now if he thought that if Tyson Fury at the end of the day, if he... All that shit that he say he can't prove. If, if Tyson Fury did every bit of what Deontay Wilder thought he did, didn't he make the right decision? There you go. That's all, that's all you need to know. So anybody that believes all that shit will agree with that. Well, damn, it needed to be stopped if he was cheating. Duh. <laughs> if he had egg weights or tampered or Louis Resto gloves or... Marco and Antonio Margarito in swells or whatever he had in those gloves. If he had if those gloves that he was using was beating, hitting this man again and again with those type gloves, ain't it a good idea to stop that fight? Yes. And if you say no, you're a fool and you're not a Deontay Wilder fan. You're not for Deontay Wilder. You just don't like the sight of seeing a black guy get beat by a white guy and then something's wrong with you because then you are not even looking at the person, that individual person. You're looking at the skin color alone. So stop. So Andre Durrell made, um, spoke his piece, told him he felt he had an influence. He might have. But at the end of the day, he didn't call the shots. Mark Breland did. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Andre Durrell admitting his supposed influence on Mark Breland stopping the fight of Deontay Wilder. Tell me what you think. Please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.